Hi, I'm Cheryl Ann from Cherylene's Cupcakes and today I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate best vanilla cupcakes I have ever tasted. And if you're wondering how I made this basket wee frosting, please click the link on the top right hand corner and it will direct you to that video tutorial. Anyways, for this you will need one third of a cup, which is 75 grams of full fat sour cream, one and three quarters of a cup, which is 175 grams of cake flour. I'll show you in the video how you make this using plain flour and corn flour, or you may know this as cornstarch. You'll also need 57 grams of softened unsalted butter. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. Try to use the pure, not the imitation, because the flavor is much stronger and better. You will also need two large eggs, two thirds of a cup of milk, one quarter of a cup of canola or vegetable oil, one cup, which is 225 grams of custard sugar, as well as one vanilla bean. You can find this in your grocery shop. It will come in like a box in the tube like this and it has like four pods inside. But if you really can't find it, you can actually do without it. You could use vanilla paste instead. So now, here's how to make the cake flour. So using plain flour, with every cup of plain flour that you have, you want to remove two tablespoons of the plain flour and replace that with corn flour or you may know this as cornstarch. Because it's quite hard to find cake flour here in Australia, this was the only way I could get cake flour. Because here they only sell them, um, they sell the self-raising cake flour, which is not what you want. Do not use the self-raising cake flour because you've already put in all these raising agents in your cakes. Now because we need one and three quarter cups of cake flour, I had to remove three and a half tablespoons of my plain flour mixture and replace that with the corn flour. Once you've done that, make sure you sift and thoroughly mix through your plain flour and corn flour mixture. You really want to do this because you want to ensure that your flour mixture is going to be evenly mixed together. So I sifted mine about four times and just used a hand whisk to mix it up really good, which will help me ensure that I will get a nice fine texture to my flour. Next, get your vanilla pod, lie it on its side, and then take a sharp knife and cut it through like so. Split it into half and then just gently scrape out the gooey vanilla speckles inside. This is what will give your cakes those black dots that you often see in vanilla mixtures. And then just do the exact same thing on the other half of the pod. Once you're done with that, you just sift it into your sugar. The reason why I sifted it was because I didn't want to have like chunks of this vanilla speckles in my cupcakes later on. I wanted it to be evenly distributed throughout. Now because it's such a sticky consistency, I had to use a spoon to just push it through the sift and then I just used a whisk and gave it a good mix through. Next, beat in your soft and unsalted butter. Make sure you start on low before you beat it on high for about 3-5 to five minutes until all your butter and sugar has combined and becomes light and fluffy and looks something like this. Next, just add in your eggs one at a time, beating well after each addition. After that, just add in your vanilla extract and beat that well too. And then to that, just beat in your sour cream as well as your oil. And then in a separate bowl, mix together all your dry ingredients of the cake flour, baking powder, baking soda and the salt. I just used the whisk to mix it through really good so that all my ingredients are nice and evenly combined throughout. Next, you want to add in your flour mixture and your milk into your wet batter, alternating between the two ingredients in two different parts. The reason why you want to do this slowly in parts is because if you add it in all your flour together at once and just beat that, it's going to puff up and go all over the place and create an unnecessary mess. So you just do that, start slow and slowly work on high until everything is nice and combined. And once you're done with that, you should have this very liquidy mixture. It's not a very dense cupcake, it's very nice and fluffy. So be careful when you're spooning it into your cupcake papers. 
Your oven should be preheated to 175 degrees Celsius and you want to bake it for 15 minutes at 175 and then bring it down to 135 and bake it for another 10 to 15 minutes. If you realize that the tops of your cupcakes are cooking too quickly, you want to lower it down sooner than that because every oven is different so you really have to have a bit of trial and error with your oven. So when you're filling your cupcakes, um, fill it up to only about 3 quarters of the way full. You should be able to make about 16 to 18 regular sized cupcakes. You'll know your cupcakes are done when you stick a toothpick in and it comes out clean. So just set that aside to cool and now you're ready to make your frosting. For your frosting, you want to sift in 1.5 cups of icing sugar. You may know this as powdered or confectioner's sugar. Now don't skip this step of sifting your icing sugar because icing sugar has a real tendency to always clump up. So by sifting it, you're going to prevent your frosting later on from having chunks of icing sugar inside. So once you do that, you just add in half a cup of softened unsalted butter. You really want to make sure that your butter is soft enough because it will make this process so much easier. So just start beating it on slow until you see your butter and sugar mixture kind of coming together before switching it and beating it on high for about 3-5 to five minutes until everything is nice and smooth and looks something like this. And then to that, add in 2 teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. Vanilla bean paste is a much stronger flavour and it has those little black speckles inside that makes your frosting look all fancy. It's a very strong vanilla flavour compared to just using vanilla extract. And then to that, also add in 1 tablespoon of milk and beat it all together until everything is nice and smooth and looks something like this. So once your cupcakes are completely cooled, you're ready to pipe it on however you like. Here I did a basket wee frosting. So just click the link on the top right hand corner, it will bring you to that video on how to pipe on a basket wee frosting. If not, just do it however you like and enjoy these cupcakes. I hope this video has been helpful to you guys and if you enjoy it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I am Cheryl Ann from Cherry Lane's Cupcakes.